we did have to make some technical surgical modifications at the time of transplantation. Part of that is because the pig heart is very similar, but is not identical to the human. Part of that was because in the first operation that we did, the heart was uh, slightly uh, undersized and we had to make some modifications. From the very beginning, our goal was to be able to uh, create a model where we actually uh, mimicked what is now done clinically in human transplantation without utilizing unapproved devices or techniques or medications. And after this was done, finally in June of 2022, we were able to identify a potential deceased individual This was a 72-hour study, and despite the fact that it was a tremendous success, and we learned a lot, especially from the first to the second procedure that was performed in order how to perfect some of the technical aspects of the operation, uh, it is still preliminary data. Uh, there are still many, many questions that need to be answered before a phase one clinical trial, including if we go into a phase one clinical trial, what sort of patients would be appropriate to participate in this trial? So there are 6 million individuals with heart failure in the United States. Um, about 100,000 of those individuals have end-stage heart failure. And we only do about 3,500 heart transplants a year in the United States. So we have a tremendous deficiency in organs and there are many people dying, waiting for a heart. We're excited just like everybody else is that finally um, there's some forward movement in this field. Um, and I think we're gonna see clinical trials even sooner maybe than we thought.